Well, the best thing about it is that it's for kids. <laughs> um, and what's great about the fact that kids get to engage with each other, they get to engage with exhibits, it's very hands-on and it's fun. And I think that's what creates a lot of learning for them is the fact that it's engaging and fun. So many things for children are don't touch, just look. And everything here is touch, explore, figure it out. And everything is so engaging and it engages all of their senses. There and you read about something, this you play with something and you learn as you play and I love that. You know, what, what I like about the museum is the fact that it was created in a way that let the kids sort of use all their senses as part of their involvement in the museum. It's an environment that lets them really pique their interest and sort of discover things that they can't discover on their own. Plus, I like the fact that a lot of the museum is set up so that there's parental involvement so that the child and the parent can come through together. And I think those two combinations really create a very unique experience. I think it supports us as a family because you know, it, give, it gives us both a place for me and him to bond. CDM is a very important cultural institution through its arts programming. You're trying different things, you're using color, you're using different types of materials, and you're looking at how to create solutions to problems through hands-on arts activities. I think as a, as a former middle school math and science teacher, you really get excited about seeing your children here experiencing science for the first time. Yeah, you, you know, the thing that I find really interesting is that kids that go through school and are really, really smart and really good from a textbook perspective don't translate necessarily that well in the work environment. The kids that really succeed in the work environment, they have that, and they also have what I would call EQ along with the IQ. So they have that emotional quotient that goes with the intellectual quotient. And that emotional quotient comes from real world experiences. And I think that's what the Children's Discovery Museum helps give them at a really early age. You know, from a corporate hiring perspective, when you look at a, a prospective employee, you know, you always want a, a, an individual who's sort of naturally inquisitive. We, we need that inquisitive mind. Um, and we also want someone who can work in a collaborative environment. But unless you embed that in kids at a very, very young age, it's tough for them. It, you, we can't train in an inquisitive mind and we can't really train in collaborative skills. The earlier they get that, the better off they are. From the perspective of the city, that Children's Discovery Museum is an important icon and that it signals that childhood development is an important civic value. It also allows my son to feel that he belongs somewhere, that he's part of a greater global community. And that's an important signal to anybody that comes here, that you're part of the greater world and you are a global citizen. And that's one of the important civic lessons that I think CDM brings to all of us. Yeah, and I think it's great also um, to see that you've succeeded in attracting that diversity of people. And so when we're bringing our child here, she's not right. only exposed to a diversity of experiences, but she's exposed to a diversity of People, languages, family arrangements, um, all of that is here in one spot. All great cities have great museums. And I think that, that you need to have certain museums that are for young people to learn to explore the world and to socialize and to interact in a community setting. So um, they're just a central part of the DNA of any community. A oh, lot. Man. I think it costs a lot of money to run this museum <laughs> here. Yes, more than our annual membership probably covers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Millions. It's got to be. I look at this place and I go, wow, I mean, this has got to be a lot of money to run this place. And, and I think any, any amount of money that you put in, any penny you put into it, is worth every penny because, I mean, again, it's a great asset to our children. Actually, he's right. It does take millions. When you think about the supplies and materials, from paint and sand in the Wonder Cabinet Early Learning Center to hundreds of pounds of corn husks for doll making, and gallons and gallons of face paint and bubble solution, and then factor in what it takes to keep the exhibits operating after 300,000 active visitors each year, you can see that it adds up quickly. 
Plus, we are more committed now than ever to our open door policy, which provides free and reduced admission to low-income families and schools in our community. It is only through the generosity of people like you that this program is possible, ensuring that every child has the opportunity to visit and to learn and grow at Children's Discovery Museum of San Jose. Thank you for your generosity, and yes, every penny counts. I, I wanted to be a doctor, yeah. but I didn't have a children's museum to teach me science and chemistry, so I never made it to med school.